Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's me Karen and we're going to be doing part two of the ink house and I'm going to be coloring the, today with the um, polychromos. So I have those out and we're finishing this page here. Try to get you in the camera. Now I did do the uh, candle a little bit more off camera and I'm going to show you what I did. <clears throat> so I'm going to get you down a little closer to that. Okay. What I did was I took the Posca and then I found a little like spot here where the uh, wax would come down and I put a little dot there and a little dot there and then just bring it up a little bit and then go over the dot with more of the ink so it kind of makes a bubble there. Then I'm going to go over it a couple of times to make sure it stands out. <clears throat> and then you just bring it up a little bit into the candle so you get kind of a third color in there. I thought that looked kind of cool. Sometimes I leave the book sitting out on my desk and just kind of go, mm, I wonder if that would work, and it does, so <laughs> I'm sorry that I did not put it on camera, but that's just how it goes sometimes. So I'm going to work on the books on this side. I could map these out and ink them. I just didn't feel like doing that today. I know. Karen doesn't want to ink. Ah, call the hospital. <laughs> I want to try out some pencils. So we're going to kind of do it in um, old book style. And I'm looking at this and I think that needs to be like these are in the pages. But it has some etching in it. And I think it's because of this little guy up here. So we actually have two bugs in this page here. So I was going to do it in, I don't even know what color this is. This is a magenta. That might be just a little too bright. So let's see if magenta is going, we would probably, I'm pretty sure we have a light magenta. <laughs> mm. We have a light purple pink. Yeah, light magenta. So those two colors could go together. Mm, probably a little yellow in there too as well. Put that down. Greens, we kind of want a olive greenish color. Uh, so we have chrome, chromium green opaque, and kind of a lighter green and a lighter, lighter green. Or oh, this is pretty. We'll put those together. So what I have here is um, green gold. Mm, chromium green opaque and may green uh, the yellow I pulled out for the magentas is just dark cadmium yellow and let's see if we have red blue or red and green we need to throw a blue cup color in here too um, dark indigo Burned in the lighter color here. Okay, so I took out just because they look nice. Now these may not work. <laughs> I'm just pulling out a dark, a medium, and a light shade for each one. So it's dark indigo in thread mm -hmm, in dethrine blue and uh, sky blue. So we have blue, green. We should get a brown tone because we have to have some something here with leather back on it. So what do we got here? Um, burnt umber, burnt sienna, and whatever you are. Light yellow ochre. That looks like nice leather color. Again, all I'm doing is pulling it dark. So if I want brown, I pull out the darkest brown, then I pull a medium brown that looks similar, and then a lightest color that can go with a brown. Before I go any further, we are going to ink that little puppy up here. So I have to find the ink pad I used. So 
still have everything on my desk. This is the blue one. Here's the brown one. Okay. So again, we're just going to ink up that little corner and kind of draw it in a straight line across there. And fortunately, it's the same color as the ink that I went over on his toe. <laughs> we're going to throw a little of this in all the shadows of the books, too. So just going to use that side and use it like a pencil. I'll just shade it right in there. So each of us will have a little shading. Oop, that one may have gotten too dark, so I guess that one's going to be a leather-bound book. <laughs> yep, that's how I roll. There we go. A little in that one, and this one here. And these pages need to have a little darkness to them. And, and your little page, your reading should have darkness too. Okay, while I have this out, I'm going to shadow this side of the page here. So same. And we're just going to go around the bottom of the bottle here. And pull some of that out. Very lightly. Kind of go up on that side a little bit. Cross the little drips of ink. <laughs> Okay, and under our mousy, we'll add a little bit there, under his book. Doesn't have to be perfect, because we're going to ink this thing too. I just haven't figured out what I'm going to ink it as. I just want to get some shadows in there. Okay, now back to the books. Um, we might as well do the leather bound book first, because I went too dark on that. So obviously we want... Um, to go dark in the corners here. So this is the burnt umber. The number on that is 280. I will leave these. Um, I have to get a piece of paper. I am the worst for going over the edge and coloring on the sheet in the back. So we're just going to toss that in there. All the um, pencil names will be in the description box. We'll try to remember to hold them up so you can see them. I picked the polychromos because the books aren't a whole page of things. It's just a little stack here. So I can actually um, use them without hurting myself. And I am trying to remember to hold the pencil as far back as possible. So I am not gripping it and killing my wrist here. It's one of the reasons I don't use them too much. Um, burnt Sienna. I just add that in there. He's got um, cross hatching going on here, so I want to kind of follow that. Just kind of adds to the book a little bit. We can put a little of this in the, um, that is the binding there, right? Well, if it isn't, it is now. There we go. I'm going to darken just the edge of this book, too. Back in there with the darkest color. Okay, and now our lightest color, which is the light yellow ochre. a little harder on that just to get that color out. 
and blend those other ones together. So we want to make it look like old leather. Dark in this corner just a little bit. This is the burnt sienna. Just a little bit of the darkest color again, right here on the corner. Kind of leather bound book. Yes, they probably will all take me that long. <laughs> How long was that? 11 minutes were, and we didn't even get a whole cover. We just got a corner. Okay, let's pick another one that we're going to do brown. Um, let's see. If we do that one brown. I'll skip that one. I do a green, blue, red, so we can do one over here. How about this little? No, that's too close. We'll do this one. Okay. So we're going to darken our little shadow we already put in. Go around our inkwell. This has a raised spine, so we want to leave those kind of areas upright. So I'm going to go in them with the yellow um, what is it called? Light yellow ochre and make sure those stand up. Okay. And we're going to go in with the um, burnt sienna. It's like some ink made it on the book. I'm going to say whoever wrote that note. She was messy with the ink. <laughs> Go in with the yellow ochre. Back in again with the um, burnt sienna. And then in with the burnt umber, just to darken that edge there. Make sure we get dark underneath the shadow of that book. So how are you all doing today? Hope you're all well. 
There we go. Two leather bound books. I think I will add a tiny bit of the uh, green gold in here. Sounds like a cool color. <laughs> green gold. Yeah, it's kind of nice. We'll add some of that up here too. Maybe a little in here. <laughs> That's a pretty color. All right. Um, now, as we go up or down, because we have a book here, book here. This is just a touch of a book. And I said, what, um, green here? So we'll do a green. So we'll take that gold green, put it in the raised bits here. Make sure those stay raised. And then we'll go in with the mm, chromium green opaque. Go down here on the bottom. Kind of bring it up gently. Go across the top and bring it down gently. Press a little harder to get a little more color in there and bring it off the book. I actually thought that'd be darker. <laughs> I had to turn the book a little bit, sorry. Can you see what I'm doing here? Move that. Yeah, I did think that would be darker. Okay, we're going to put it on. Pretty sure this is this book. <laughs> And I think that's that book, but this little tiny bit. Okay, I need to find a darker green. <coughs> I want it deeper. So what do we have in dark green here? Mm, pines, what are you? Chrome oxide green? Let's see how dark that is. Yeah, that's a little bit darker. Just in the center, that should be down a little further. So we're going to bring in uh, the light green I had picked out was uh, May green. raining again today. At least a storm stopped though. Wind will kick up later today, so it's always interesting. Okay, green book. Without that piece it looks a little better. <laughs> I'm going to do a red book up here, or a <coughs> reddish book. So we're going to go in with the um, magenta, and I, then I have the light magenta, and we have a dark cadmium yellow. So we're going to go in here, 
most of this book is in the shadow. Under his feet in shadow. <laughs> the top book and I believe this is the owl up here. Looks like the owl's toes. And we'll go in with the light magenta. Well, that would have been a nice color for in here too. So this would match if you wanted to use polychromos instead of uh, light vest. <laughs> Could have gone in with these colors. We're going to take a little of the orange and highlight the raised areas here. Just put a little in the center. Okay, go back in with the um, magenta. Oops, got some in the book. I'm gonna get some in his claws too, but that's the way it goes. I wanna get it darker down there. And then darker up here coming down. So if we have any under his fluff, I we'll want to get that too. And then I think I want it even deeper, so I may bring in a brown on that. So we'll bring in the um, burnt sienna. Let's kick back the pink a little bit. Without this piece, it'll look nicer. Just going to darken that up over here. Okay, reddish book, greenish book, <laughs> and we need a bluish book. So this is our next best bet here. So we're going to go in with the dark indigo. going to keep all the lower part of this that is not raised in this nice dark color. And again, if you didn't want to use pencils in here, you could be using um, like ink tents. Add a little of the blue in here. This is the sky blue. Probably be the same color in ink tints. Indigo light blue. And we're going to take in the um, one that's hard to pronounce. Indithrine blue. 247. <laughs> Hopefully that'll work between the two. in with the indigo. Back in with the sky blue. Okay, 
lightly put it on everything because I want that sky blue to be on the raised areas also. Just uh, FYI, this would also work really nice with these uh, blues. <laughs> Okay, gonna deepen it just a little bit with the indigo. cover and a back to this book. So you'll want to do those. Okay, so we have a red, a blue, green, two browns. I think um, this little book here should be red. So we're going to do that one. This is the magenta. It's got like a little something something going on here. A braiding or something. Which is kind of cool. I'm going to take the uh, brown that we used before, the uh, burnt sienna. I'm going to kind of accent those cross marks a little bit, kick back the pink, add in the um, dark cadmium, we didn't get the pages set in this book either, so we'll just throw in some of those browns. There we go. This is the uh, dark umber or burnt umber that I'm going to put in here. Still let the red show, but darken that up a little bit there. That's pretty cool. Okay. This one obviously is black. <laughs> so let's see. I think I'll do this one down here in green. Pencils, pencils all over the place. Can I pull out a darker, darker green? Yeah, the chrome oxide here. Okay, that was the chrome oxide green, and this one is the chromium green opaque. <laughs> that I'm going to use here. And I think it's right about here we have our green cover piece here. Then we will throw in the um, May Green. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we get two green books, two red books, I need another blue book, so we'll make this little tiny cover here blue. So we'll throw in, I'll put the in, mm -hmm, intro drone blue first. Binding. We'll go in with the indigo blue but dark indigo sorry and then the sky blue and our bottom cover here go. Okay. Um, do, do, do. Mm, Maybe I'll just pick up pencil here. Then we're going to use the um, light yellow ochre and the green gold and we're just gonna do these uh, little covers you can't see very well in those colors there's a little red in that one so that's okay and since there's a little red we'll just uh, throw a little red down in this side of it and then we have we'll just throw some brown in this one and a little yellow in the center here Okay, so colored, colored, this book. What do I got here? I don't want to do it green. I don't want to do it blue. Just go in with those two gold colors that are up here. So the um, green gold. And the, hmm, turn it around, yellow ochre. Yellow ochre looks good as a page color. Don't know what that is. We'll just color it with those colors. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So our books are done. Our coffee cup. Let's see. I think we're going to do the coffee cup in the green. Kind of like the greens. So chroma oxide green and the chromium green and the may green. So on the darkest side of the cup here, darkest green. So this is the um, chrome oxide. Do that on the saucer too.
bring in the chromium green opaque. And then our May Green. back in with the darker colors and get a better shading there. And we're going to bring in a brown. So because we shaded with brown, I'm going to bring in a brown. It's the Burnt Sienna. That's kind of fun. Bring in a little of that um, <laughs> green gold. Awesome color. I like that color a lot. I made a mess of it, but <laughs> I like it. Just give that a little bit better blend with my finger there. And anything that didn't look quite right, you can always go in and give a highlight to. The rim a little wider there. back in and just kind of tap that down a little bit there we go I'm gonna give the pencil a color I uh, don't really have a purple out but well, maybe I do I have it in the light fast so we'll use a violet here get a purple pencil. That's kind of cool. All right. Uh, the glasses have to be a color too, so... Hmm. It's 
go over to the ink bottle. Now, ink can be any color inside the bottle. The label has to be a color. And since I like this green gold so much, I am going to take uh, these colors, probably the dark brown one too, and attempt to make that a gold with these. I don't know if that'll work, but we're going to try. So we've got all the yellows that I had out on the other side, the uh, dark cadmium, the light yellow ochre. We've got the burnt umber for the dark. We've got the burnt sienna and the green gold in here also. So we're going to take the lightest color, which is our um, dark cadmium yellow. And we are in frame here. We're going to put some of that. The candle isn't real bright, but that's our light source in here. Throw some of that in here. Just kind of on the front side or this side of these letters. over there. Okay, that's our yellow. <laughs> We're going to go in now. Yellow ochre. doesn't have to be rocket science. You just want to put a little bit of the color in it. And since it's just a shade darker, you don't want to put a whole gob of it in because we want to make more of a contrast. We're going to go in with the um, green gold. Same thing. It's a close call here. All right, now we're going to bring in some browns. So this is the um, burnt sienna. We're going to go over that and bring it down. I'd put a few more of those colors over on this side. OK, 
Okay. And then right here with the green gold. Why is it just pouring out there? And the wind is blowing again. Hope this isn't going over the black too much, but I can go back over the black with a marker. I'm going to pull in the uh, dark cadmium, lighten it down here, blend that in. Sorry, add a little bit more of that into these letters. Other colors go over it so nicely. See that star there earlier? Sorry. Okay, now we're going to go back in with the darker color, and that uh, is the um, burnt sienna. Just going to add it in. Very lightly on top of that. And then a little darker coming out of here. This is so tiny here. <laughs> Okay, I think it's a little bit more down in here. Let me just go back in with uh, one of the yellows or a green. Gold green.
I didn't think this would take so long. <laughs> okay, go back in with the browns and darken up some areas just by putting a little more pressure on it and then lightening it, but we want that corner darker, this area a little darker. Take your time on your lettering. It's hard for me to see when I'm not up close, so I'll probably fiddle around with that a little bit. I want that looking round, so I'm going to add some roundness to it. Looks like a crack or something there. Okay, the only other thing you want to make sure is you don't have any white showing, so. I know I do here. But I'm going to do something with that, so. I think that looks pretty gold labeled. I kind of like that better than I did the candle, but <laughs> why don't we add some of that color in here too. That's the green gold. And then we'll add some of this burnt umber in here. And some light, oh boy, cadmium, no, yellow ochre. <laughs> Change that up a little bit. Okay, looking good. Um, table, last part in this little thing here, and of course the feather we gotta figure out. So the table we're gonna do in scattered straw. We're going to put a piece of paper across the top up here so we don't mess the uh, two together. And we're just going to ink it up. I used to do this with sticky notes, but mm, I'm out of sticky notes. I need to find an ink pad first that's more yellow, so hold on a minute. Okay, I noticed I missed another book here, and of course I haven't done the glasses. I'm not going to do those until I get the um, tablecloth done because I can go over the ink with a pencil. I'm not going to worry about that. So like I said, uh, scattered straw and the ink pad I have, I think is the only one that I have that is light enough to do this that is not green. I'm going to have to get myself some more of these or, well, you know, wash some. So, <laughs> I'm going to take some ink out of this. Yeah, now I'm gonna have to get a new piece of paper because that one's wrinkled. Okay, there. We'll just stick that in the book. Um, hmm. I'll stick it in the book. Run my fingernail up there. Fold that piece over because it's an angle. And tear that corner off. There we go. That's close enough. I will be able to hold that a little better. Okay. So just going to take the scattered straw here and the ink pad. That should be okay. Always test it on a piece of paper before you go in. And what I do is I always want to start off of the paper because one of my points of this pad is going to be darker. And we're just going to bring it down the same thing when I am doing it on a uh, 
book or something. I always want to go in the darkest area first and then bring it down. So we can get that covered. And we're just going to lightly bring it into the page. Darkest up at the top. And then just lightly bring it down. So we'll get a nice little table going here. Then we're going to go over to the other side here and do the same thing. Just lay the paper down. I will start over on this side. Put it on the paper first and then bring it down into the app. Yep, we're going to have a problem here, aren't we? Do, 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 do. <laughs> going to go under there so I don't ink off the other page. Okay. Bring it down. Bring it kind of um, into very lightly here. I'm just touching it over the words. We have a, uh, I don't know, something here, a little blob of something. So I want to make that darker so it's not so noticeable. And now we're going to go to the edge of the page here. Okay, and this is very light touch. I mean, I'm barely touching the paper. Just lightly bringing it across. And up here at the top, we have to get that piece. Okay. And bring it down. Okay, the wing up here was a little white and any other places. We're just going to run that ink over that area on the label. Pick up any of those pieces with that. Okay, then we have to put a little bit of ink on this side of the page down below. And that looked nice up there. <laughs> so we're going to just stick this paper here and ink up any of these areas. Ink up the corner, go up towards the book, and then just lightly bring it into the page. If you want to darken any areas like underneath here, just add a little more ink and run it around there. Okay. We have some specialization going here. So we're going to run the ink down on that side. The other thing I'm going to do is bring in a stamp. And so those dots aren't going to be noticeable. I'm going to run some ink around him. And maybe just a little darker over that corner. Right there. Any of those pages up here that we didn't get, we'll just rub some of that in there. Oh, maybe that label. That book that's under here that we didn't see before. Any places else that say, you just want some color in. The stamp I'm going to use is um, the itty bitty, I have it written here, <laughs> itty bitty background stamp and it's from Stamping Up. It comes in a set of, I think, four stamps. You get little itty bitties, you get a, a bit bigger, a bit bigger, and a bit bigger. But see, it just puts this little splatter on there. A little splatter there. <laughs> Use the stamp to help you out. So we're just gonna put it here and there. The nice thing about this stamp um, and in this book, I've used it quite a bit so all cohesive, but it kind of has an old time look to it. The page is getting tattered. So we'll stick some around the name over here, the writing. You can stamp it once, stamp it again. It's lighter, so you can get a cool effect doing it that way. I want it to go off the page up here, so up that page and do a stamping on do 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 on the outside of the page here. And just run some extra ones around. Lighter, darker, whatever you want. 
that gives a cool effect. Okay. Um, lid. I'm looking for the lid. <laughs> I don't know what I do with the lid. There it is. Okay. Got our little stamp going. We need to do the mouse. Oh boy, do I have a lot of pencils out. So sorry. Little mousey. So we're going to get out one of the detail pens here. What color does it have on it? Can't tell. That one's brown and we don't want a brown mouse. That's green, I think. Don't want a green mouse. So what else do we got? Green and blue. And um, fuzzy one. <laughs> It's brown too. Hmm. Kind of wanted a gray mouse. So we'll get some of this ink out. These wash too. They're not the best things. But I use them because I have them. Looking for black. Black soot. So we're going to get that black sooty. And then we're just going to very, 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 very lightly touch his fur. Keep his mouth white. Yeah. Or a little gray, because I got some ink in that. to use a um, hopefully black <laughs> pencil here. This is the light fast uh, black. I'm just going to add a little bit of extra fur here. Darken up some areas. Should have pinkified his feet. Maybe I'll do that. Really should sharpen this and get a sharper point on it. If you sharpen these to a sharp point, do yourself a favor and do not push down too hard. Just hard enough. Tiny little hairs. And we have to do a scarf. He's cutting out of a hole here, by the way. Um, so we have to kind of let that be seen. <laughs> I'm going to darken this here. I don't know if anybody can notice that. <laughs> But it is a hole down here. We're going to darken the black of his glasses. And I'll put his whiskers back in with um, Posca. 
Maybe we'll do something with the blue on his uh, glasses also. I'm going to take the black over here to the bird. We're just going to go over it and make it blacker. That because we colored over it with the yellow, I want to make sure he stands out black. So we'll just go over him. Make sure he stands out nicely. Hmm, I have to color that book. <laughs> okay, so we have to make up the, our mind what color, and I have a big white spot there. I gotta figure out what to do with. Uh, make it yellow there part of the table all right glasses since they're blue and it's going to be hard for me to change that I'm just going to go in with the and this is the dark indigo and just darken them up a little bit A little of the light sky blue in here. There we go. Scarf. I want it purple. So we're going light fast with the purple. So, um, it's just purple. and the wild lavender. Go back in with the purple and just darken it at the crease lines. Purple scarf, and then we have to have these glasses in some kind of color. Might as well do them in the red, huh? Okay, so the magenta. I have to look at these for a minute. <laughs> okay, this one goes under the book or under the paper or un you know, it goes under here somewhere. This one should come across. 
and go across here. Get the X on the back. Okay. And then we'll throw in a little bit of the light magenta. And a little bit of the um, bum, 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 burnt sienna for shadow. get that book a little brown there just so we know it's there okay a little yellow under the glasses anywhere else we can put a little reflection in that bottle there we go okay feather Oh boy, uh, blue feather, green feather, <laughs> red feather. I'm going to do it in blue. The stormy sky that we had up here in the windows. Just going to ink up that corner, run it right across the vein very, very, very lightly here. And pull that color out, turn it. Go on the other side and pull it out. A little darker down at the base. There we go. Now the ink. Well, we did black here, so our ink is going to be black. We have a little, I don't know, splotches here. So we'll just get out the soot. Black soot. I'm going to pull some of that black down here into the bottom and up to where the pen is. And we'll throw some of that over here in the bottle too, just down at the bottom, kind of up here at the top, just so it's got the same colors in it, right down that edge. There we go. Okay. Gonna throw a little bit of Posca in here. Going to brighten up his shades a little. Okay, his whiskers. These are always fun to try to go over. I think I have any color in here. ear. The bottle up here, it's going to get some shine to it. Okay, our watch. Bottle on this side.
to is going to lighten up the top. Put a little on the cup here. Just kind of smear it there. Okay, these glasses. Just got it on his. I think we're done. Now he's written a note that he wants to know if um, a Miss Bella would like to meet him for dinner tonight. But if she is unable and has other plans, then maybe they could do it the next night. <laughs> Which is really cute. Just going to put a little of this down here. This is the um, burnt sienna. Just a tiny bit in there. And we are done. I'm calling it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This one's a long one too. <laughs> the page. I think it turned out rather cute. This is the bottom going up. No water on this one, so it's nice and flat. And I think that turned out nicely. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye now.